Hi, welcome to Clean Beauty with Allie Marie. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create this look in about five minutes using only six clean and non-toxic beauty products. I will be linking every product that I use in this tutorial down below so you won't have to go searching for them. Enjoy. All right, let's dive right in with our flawless in five. So we are going to use six different products. And the thing I love most about this set is that you get choices. So the first step, you guys get to choose. You can either choose the Dew Skin or the new Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. And um, the Dew Skin is amazing. It gives you kind of a sheer coverage. Um, and of course it has the SPF in it, which is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate our Flawless in Five with our newest product here, which is our Skin Twin Featherweight Foundation. You can layer both of the products together if you would like. Um, Dew Skin will kind of give you more of that dewy, glowy look. And um, the Skin Twin is going to provide you a little bit more coverage. So um, there are a couple of different ways you can apply the Skin Twin. I always like to try to give it a good shake and I'm gonna start with one tiny little pump, about like that, about the size of a pea. I might go back and get a little bit more on any of the areas that need some more coverage, but I'm gonna be using our um, retractable foundation brush. This is gonna give me the most sheer amount of coverage. If you wanted a little bit more coverage, you could use our flat complexion brush here. And for maximum coverage, you can use a, a beauty blender sponge to really push it into your skin and get that coverage that you want. The nice thing about our Skin Twin is that it is buildable. So if you get to get a nice layer on and you feel like you need a little bit more, you can go back and add where you need it, especially with that beauty blender sponge. You can just push it right into where you need it. And of course, our new Skin Twin also has all that hyaluronic acid in it. It has nine times the hyaluronic acid that our tint skin had. So if you loved our Beauty Counter's tint skin, there, this one is even better. It also is a little bit more buildable, in my opinion. And for those of you who are wondering, I am using the color Light 210 this morning. And I'm just getting a nice, even layering. The only thing I've done to prep my skin ahead of time is I did use Beauty Counter's Counter Time line. Um, and instead of doing the serum, I did do our new All Bright C serum instead of the Counter Time serum. So that's my morning routine. Um, I did forget, I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, mascara options underneath my leg to have them be warming up as I'm doing the rest of my makeup. That's just a little um, tip that I have that helps our mascara flow a little bit better. Okay, step two is our concealer. Um, I actually have two concealers here. Um, depends on kind of what I'm going for. If I've got a bunch of dark circles under my eyes, I'm gonna go with the shade lighter um, and kind of try to brighten up the eyes. If I've got some blemishes I need to cover, I go with the shade that's about the same color as my foundation. So light is about the same as my light 210 from my Skin Twin. I'm actually gonna go a little lighter with Fair. Um, you can click it just like a paint pen, and then you just paint it where you'd like it to go in nice long strokes. My under eye area just needs a little bit of brightening. Didn't get the best beauty sleep in the world being 28 weeks pregnant. Little baby girl in there thinks it's time to party at night, so we're definitely gonna have to change that around as soon as she gets here. All right, and then I am just lightly tapping it in with my ring finger. Okay, so that was our step two, our concealer step. And the next step I'm gonna do is our blush step. You can choose from a whole bunch of different Shades, I'm gonna go with Guava this morning. I think it's super fun and hot pink and perfect for the summer. So I am using our um, angled um, powder brush here. It really helps me to get it right where I need it. I'm not an expert just yet here at makeup, so I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. So I'm taking it and I'm putting it right here on the apples of my cheeks and I am just pulling it back. And I love this color for summer. 
It's so fun. But there are, I can't remember exactly how many shade choices, seven or eight that you can choose from. So you can find something perfect for everyone. If you already have a lot of these products and you're just wanting to get some new colors for a different season, going ahead and getting them in the Flawless and Five set, again, helps save you the most money so you can get different shades of concealer. You can get either the Dew Skin or the Skin Tone, whichever one you don't have. You can get new blush and lip gloss shades. So I love the Flawless and Five set and how it is almost a 20% discount to get them all together. Okay, I think I've got enough on my cheeks. I always try to start with a little and add. Our next step is going to be our brows. Um, again, you've got choices. So you can either choose from the brow pencil, which is really fun because it has a little spoolie at the end. So if you have um, some spare brows, this is definitely the way to go. If you've got really wonderful, fantastic brows, um, you just need a little bit of taming and getting them under control with a little bit of tint. This one is for you. Um, my brows need a little bit of actual filling in. So I start by brushing them with the spoolie. And then I use little hair-like strokes to fill in in all of the different areas that need it. And I just follow my brow line. The little hair-like strokes help it to look more natural. And you guys, this stuff lasts all day. It is super waxy and it just stays. And I love it. I am using the color dark. There are, of course, a few other shades to choose from. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys can tell the, the difference between my brows now, but I've got a little bit more color, a little bit more shape, and they look a little bit more put together. Oops. Yes, of course, back in high school, the thing was to have your eyebrows as thin as possible. Little strips were the trend, so now my brows have had a little struggle trying to fill back in after all of those years of little thin spaghetti, angel hair spaghetti looking <laughs> eyebrows. That's okay. We have a nice brow brush to help us here. So here we go. Okay, this one doesn't need as much, I don't feel. It's a little bit more full than my other one, getting close to being even. Okay, so I think that that looks good. My next step is lashes. And again, you've got two choices. You've got the volumizing mascara and the lengthening mascara. Um, I feel like the formulas are very similar and the only real difference is your wand size. And the lengthening is a nice thin wand. Um, and then the volumizing is a little bit thicker. Again, you can layer them. So if you already have a bunch of these products and you just wanna go back and get another set at a discount, you can. I'm gonna start with the volumizing. And this uh, mascara, both of them are buildable. So if you get it on and you don't feel like it's enough just yet, you can go back and add some more. And I do feel like sitting on it a little bit and warming it up definitely helps the flow. Comes on a little bit more smooth. I was hoping with all of these prenatal vitamins I was taking, my hair has gotten so long. I was hoping my eyelashes would go that, like, that way too, but it has not really seemed to help my eyelashes, but that is okay. That is why we have mascara. Okay, I wanna back and add it just a little bit more to this side, add a little bit more to this side, and I think we'll be good to go. Okay, um, you can add some to your bottom lashes if you would like. I try to stay really close to the root of my eyelash so I don't end up with it all over my face. 
Although I do have some great beauty counter makeup removing wipes here if I need them because I have gotten it all over my face before. There's a little spot right there. Okay, mascara is done. My next and last step is lip gloss and I'm gonna be using the color Peony. I think it's super fun for the summer. And just one little swipe will do on the bottom and the top. Now, what I love about this lip gloss is that it is vanilla scented and um, it tastes good too, which is kind of fun. And it is not sticky. I hate sticky lip glosses and this lip gloss just stays on and it is super um, shiny and feels great. And you guys, that's it. I have a um, natural, don't look over the top, but it's got, I've got coverage. I've got um, a little bit of popping coming from my eyes with the mascara and the eyebrows. And um, of course, the fun shiny lip gloss looks great too. So I'm excited um, to go out to my 28 week checkup today. So I hope you guys have a really blessed day. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. I will be creating a new video every Wednesday, so please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.